Wow, here's a headline for you. Woman files lawsuit against Pueblo officer who was reprimanded. Oh, you bad boy. For improper use of taser. Improper use of taser? You mean freaking torture? <laughs> he was reprimanded for torture? Oh, well, he's got himself a federal lawsuit now. And I'm not a betting man, but if I were, I'd say, uh, I, I bet it's going to cost his ass. All right, cowardly cop slapped with lawsuit after slap on the wrist. Now, YouTube, I won't show the actual um, zapping, so give me a break. Let's just get this report on, okay? What do we have here anyways? Ooh, look at this lawsuit. All right, complainant Christy Gonzalez is suing defendant City of Pueblo officers Benny Villanueva and defendant Chris Noeller. Oh, Benny is the guy with the taser here. And Chris, he's got this little Betty Crocker hairdo, you know. That's his buddy. All right, what do we have here? Oh, introduction. On Monday, February 21st, 2022, at approximately 10.50 a.m., near the intersection of Santa Fe Avenue and Mesa Avenue, you deployed your department-issue taser on a 37-year-old female who was on foot after having been in a stolen vehicle. The body-worn camera footage of the incident shows the female cooperating with your verbal commands when you appeared to taser her in the back for no apparent reason. Your use of taser in this incident was in violation of the following department. Ooh. Okay. Let's look a little more into this article. Federal lawsuit was filed. Uh, let's see here. According to a news release sent on behalf of Mayor Law, the Pueblo officer tased an unarmed woman as she was complying with police commands. The release says the woman who was tased, identified as Christy Gonzalez, was suspected of driving a stolen Tacoma. The vehicle in question had just run out of gas as police were trying to stop Gonzalez. As Gonzalez was complying with that instruction, Villanueva continued to shout and discharge his taser into her back next to her spine. Well, that'll stop her. Gonzalez continues to experience numbness and difficulty using her right hand since the tasing, the news release said. Okay, let's just get right to it. We won't, uh, we won't show the tasing, but we'll, let's see what we have here. <laughs> Attorney believes an officer in Pueblo should lose his badge after repeated uses of a taser. Documents show the chief of police called his actions in three cases unacceptable. But the officer. Three cases? So this guy's like an expert at torture. Officer kept his job. We want to warn you the video of an encounter may be difficult to watch. A woman he tased in 2022 has now filed a lawsuit. This 9 News reporter Kelly Rinke. <laughs> A 40-second clip is all we have of this arrest in 2022. They just 10:50 me. She's running on the ground now. Get on the Uh oh, what's going to happen here? The attorney representing the woman in the stop says he doesn't have more video either. Oh my goodness, he must have thought she was going to pull a gun out of the back of her. But thing. he saw enough to file a lawsuit against this Pueblo police officer. We're not going to show the tasing, but when he tases her, she's already all the way on the ground, and he can see that her hands are completely empty of any weapon or anything. So, anyways, cop just doing his job, I guess. Well, he wasn't very good at his job, and so now, after three improper uses of his taser he's finally being slapped with a lawsuit all right so there you have it folks another winner in the news